Hey, this is Shane Point to the Word. Let me start a new topic today. Um, it's are Catholics Christian or Christian versus Catholic, something to that effect. Um, so this is, you know, obviously uh, a topic that is very like controversial, uh, especially in this day and age. Um, I would. Uh, you know, 100, 200 years ago, it was probably, wouldn't even have to be a topic. Um, but now, um, you know, the world is basically, you know, uh, all about, like, a false unity. You know, let's, all the, you know, religions get, get along, you know, get together. Your truth is my truth, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, this is something that, you know. I mean, it has been addressed, you know, before, like, I'm not the first, I'm not the last person doing this post, or any kind of video on this, but, um, yeah, I, I just want to make it because, um, basically when you, you know, you look at the characteristics of, you know, the people, you know, in the Catholic Church, like, um, as far as, like, what they portray in the Bible, um, they're quite a bit different, and the, like three main characters that are incredibly different um, in the Bible, like in the Catholic, uh, you know, skew of things, uh, would be Jesus, Mary, and Peter. Like those are the three that they usually uh, quote a lot, but um, so like basically any other cult, like, they'll have, you know, they don't just rely on the word, uh, of God, and so, um, you know, like, the Mormons, for example, like, they have, you know, Book of Mormon, you know, Pearl of Great Price, um, I think there's another one, but, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, they have the Bible Plus, so, you know, it's just like anything else, you know, because other people, you know, they have Jesus Plus, you know what I mean? Like, the, you know, Jesus Plus works, so, yeah, just like Mormonism, you know, Catholicism relies heavily on uh, their, um, you know, stuff like uh, their traditions, um, you know, they don't really say what that is, but they do rely heavily on their tradition, and so, um, yeah, that's, basically, you, you look at all the characteristics of, you know, Mary, Jesus, you know, Peter in there, um, you know, Peter, they say, is like their first pope, and they have a thing called uh, apostolic succession, which means, like, uh, that's where, like, they get, you know, like all the popes that uh, they've had in Catholicism, that's what they... Um, kind of say like, oh, you know, P you know, Peter's our first pope, and you know, therefore, it's, you know, like I said, apostolic succession, like that keep, just keeps the ball rolling, and then, you know, you're up to Pope Francis now. So, you know, you got that different, um, uh, and like I, I, this is probably gonna be a lot, of, like a lot of videos. Um, so. Yeah, and that you have um, a different Mary, so, um, and, and I'm going to be, like, looking up a lot of, uh, there's a thing called a catechism in uh, Catholicism, and that's basically, like, their traditional writings and stuff, so, and that's, like, Catholic-backed, so, um... Basically, if you've already seen uh, the New Age playlist, like, New Age is very, like, very concealed and, like, hidden. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know it's bad kind of thing. And, you know, the same thing can be said with Catholicism, too, to an effect. Like, if you don't have the discernment, you know, that God's given you, like, you can be deceived by either one. But it's, like, two different animals, like... New Age is just, you know, very, you know, subtle, hidden kind of thing, whereas Catholicism is, like, in your face, like, they just, like, there's quotes everywhere, like, it's not hard, like, not at all hard 
like in their own writings like they literally like i said i mentioned their catechism like all you have to do is like look up their catechism and you know show someone and say hey your church you know teaches this so yeah um i'll be referencing a couple uh catechisms today but yeah all throughout the videos like uh i'll probably be referencing a whole bunch of them because there's a whole you know a ton so in catechism uh number 80 it says sacred tradition and sacred scripture then are bound closely together and communicate one with the other for both of them uh, flowing out of the same divine wellspring come together in uh, some fashion to form one thing and move towards the same goal so basically you know they put scripture and tradition together you know they don't tell you what that is but they put it all together and then in Catechism uh, 81, the one following, it says, Sacred Scripture is the speech of God as it is put down in writing under the breath of the Holy Spirit. And tradition transmit, uh, transmits in its entirety the Word of God, which has been uh, entrusted to the apostles by Christ the Lord and the Holy Spirit. It transmits it to the successors of the apostles so that, enlightened by the spirit of truth, they may faithfully preserve, expound, and spread it abroad by their uh, preaching. And that's what I was, I was talking about the succession of the apostles. Um, so uh, they mentioned that there. And probably, uh, and then I'm going to go to Catechism 82 following that. And this one's kind of messed up. It says, as a result, the church, so, they cap, so the Catholics capitalize church, like, uh, you know, so it's, it's really messed up. So if you know anything about Catholicism, they have, like, Vatican I, Vatican II. So, like, I think in, like, the mid-60s, like, Vatican II came out. But, so Vatican I was basically, like, Oh, we're the only church, you know, in town. You know, if you're not Catholic, then you're going to hell. You know, you're anathema kind of thing. And, like, after Vatican II, it's like, oh, let's, you know, we'll involve, we'll include Muslims, we'll include, you know, um, I, I was going to say homosexuals, but the Catholic Church actually uh, says, um, in their catechism that, you know, basically, you know, it's biblical that, you know, like that's sin kind of thing, and, you know, transgression, but then you see, like, Pope Francis, like, embracing homosexuals, so it's, yeah, you know, it's a contradiction right there, so, um, so in paragraph 82 of the catechism, it says, as a result, the church to whom the transmission and interpretation of revelation is entrusted, so they say, oh, we have, you know, the church has revelation. We, you know, and we're entrusted. So it, it uh, continues, does not derive her certainty about all revealed truths from the Holy Scriptures alone. So, I mean, that basically says right there, that, you know, I'll read it again. The church does not derive her certainty about all revealed truths from the Holy Scriptures alone. Both scripture and tradition must be accepted and honored with equal sentiments of devotion and reverence. So that's probably all the uh, catechisms I'm gonna include in this video, but yeah, I just really wanna, you know, include that in there because like that's, you know, I mean, it's not, then it's not, you know, conjecture Oh yeah, well I've I've heard you know, or you know hearsay like, yeah I can't just say oh you know I, I one time I went to, you know, uh, a Catholic church and someone told me yeah I mean it's it's not, it, it's really you know it's straight from the horse's mouth, and like, like first of all, um, you know God you know gave us the Bible and that's incredibly important. And, you know, 
I, I like the Catholicism just you know basically tramples over that and says, well, you know, we'll follow scripture, but you know we'll we'll also follow you know tradition plus in other scriptures that has you know other books like first and second like Maccabees and stuff. So they have like other books that you know we, you know mainly you know Christians don't you know adhere to. Um, yeah, I remember like. So my sister, if, if you've watched any other of my videos, um, like she's into New Age and all that, but she was uh, raised Catholic, and um, like her priest or whatever, like I use that uh, term lightly, but like she or he told her that um, that basically like oh you know we don't. We can't really interpret or we can't really understand scripture, so you know, just and it makes sense like once you you know heard some of the catechism and their teachings, like it makes sense that he would say that, but it's you know, really bad, like and I don't know the figure like as of today, but you know, like I think it's like one point some billion, you know, people in the world are, you know, professing Catholics and so and now, um, like with Vatican II being in like you know in the '60s, you know now people are you know calling themselves Christians when they're professing Catholics. So now it's yeah, you know I mean like confusing people and like you know and new people in this are you know don't really understand like oh you know they're Christian they call themselves Christians so they must you know they must be good and whatnot. So I remember like. When God saved me, um, I didn't know too much about Catholicism. Um, like I knew that like, a couple things were bad, but one thing I was doing that was wrong of me, um, I actually so I learned about Catholicism, and then I like started reading the Bible more. So I knew like you know Catholicism, you know, was you know taught error, and so. Like, I, I heard, you know, what they said about Peter and Mary and stuff. So, like, when I read, like, the Bible, I get to, like, the parts about, like, Peter and Mary. And I, I'd almost, like, not like them in Scripture. So, that, that's one thing I really want to emphasize. Like, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Like, you know, just because, you know, uh, another place, you know, teaches, you know, false things doesn't mean you know, that person in scripture is bad. So I really want to emphasize that, that, um, you know, the characteristics of, uh, Jesus, uh, Mary and Peter have been altered. Um, so there's like a, you know, Catholic characteristic of Peter, and then there's a biblical characteristic of Peter and, you know, so on and so forth. So I really want to emphasize that because I've, I've heard that from other people too. Like, you know, that they've experienced that too. So I really want to, you know, briefly talk about that because, you know, like Mary is an important character in the Bible and so is Peter and obviously Jesus. So, and in, um, I think it's 2 Corinthians 11, 4, um, I'll try to find that quickly. It talks about, uh, there being another Jesus. And so, uh, I want to pull it up really quickly. But yeah, so don't don't throw out the baby with the bathwater in that. Um, and I mean that that's what I, you know, did for a little bit, and I just really want to emphasize that, um, you know, not to do that. So yeah, Second uh, Corinthians ch uh, chapter eleven, verse four. And this is very important uh, for uh, like all cults. Um, and, you know, especially Catholicism, which I believe is the biggest cult. Um, and the reason I say that is because there's so many things, you know, wrong with Catholicism that, you know, in, in future videos, Lord willing, I, I you know, I, mean, I try to, you know, put on video. And this is, like, no, by no means, you know, exhaustive, but, you know, like, you can find a lot <laughs> better edited and, you know, videos elsewhere, but, you know, I just want to, you know, briefly touch on it. So, Second Corinthians uh, chapter 11, verse 4, 
So it says, For if he that cometh uh, preacheth another Jesus, so, yeah, for if he that come uh, preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, notice it says another Jesus, so there's not just one, you know, Jesus even said, like, you know, there will be other people who, you know, come in my name, you know, don't receive them. So, um, yeah, like this is, you know, all calls, like Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, you know, Catholicism, like this verse, like, tackles all of that, or even New Age. Um, For he that comes preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might uh, well bear with him. So, there is another Jesus out there, and Catholicism teaches another Jesus. And in uh, coming weeks, I will definitely explain uh, why that is, because, you know, I can say all I want that, oh, you know, Catholicism teaches another Jesus, but if I don't have, you know, any proof or, you know, catechism saying that, you know, why would you guys believe me? So, yeah, this is just basically an introduction. Um, so, yeah, in coming weeks, I'll, uh, you know, expound upon that, but hope you guys have a great day. Bye.